Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Megan. And I'm Lexi, here with your morning announcements. Guess what, Megan? What? This is Spirit Week. Awesome. Today is Denim on Denim Day, and we are both not doing that. Tomorrow is 80s Workout Day. Then on Wednesday, wear your favorite brand. That's awesome. Thursday is 90s Grunge Day. And Friday is Willow's All Spirit Day. Then go to the Willow's Night Out Dance on Saturday the 27th. Tickets will be sold at lunch for $10 leading up to the dance and $15 at the door. It sounds like a super fun time. And now let's go to a commercial break with Gabe and Patty. iPhone charger? Hey, do you guys have an iPhone charger? No. Oh. Hey, did you know that they have iPhone chargers at the Cove for $5? Really? Yeah, let's go get one. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Patty. And I'm Gabe, here with your sports update. <laughs> Gabe, did you hear that the boys' baseball game is happening this Wednesday? Definitely. I love baseball. We'll be playing against Apollo High away at 4 p.m. And that's all I have for your sports update. Now over to a public service announcement and then Devin with the weather. What's up, Will Cam Wildcats? It's your boy Devin again for the weather. Seems to be a high of 83 and a low of 50. Let's see the rest of the week. The rest of the week will be highs in the 80 range and lows in the 50 range. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the information you guys give me. Now back to the main anchors. I said. Thank you, Devin, for that weather update. As of now, OCR and Sweep are located in C Building in room 902. Tomorrow there is a media club meeting in room 604 at 2.30 and Wednesday head over to Miss McTagg's room for photo club at 2.30. STEM club will be meeting this Friday in room 400 after school. And last Friday, Harper Lee, the author of To Kill a Mockingbird, passed away at 89 years old. She was a winner of a Pulitzer Prize and is a classic in American literature. If you have any announcements, please send them into our email at wchsannouncements15 at gmail.com. That's all the news that we have for you today, and we look forward for you to see us tomorrow. And have a great short, short Monday. Monday.